Hello everybody, I'm Rockman, and welcome to my next Let's Look. Last time I looked at Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, and this time I'm looking at Sonic Drift, because all in all, it's not too long of a game. Now, Sonic Drift, as you can tell by that title screen, is a racing game. We're gonna go right in here. There's three different cups we can choose, which are based off em Chaos Emeralds, and four different characters, Sonic, Eggman, Tails, and Amy. Now starting off, we're in Green Hill. Now each cup, there are six tracks, all based on the original Sonic the Hedgehog's levels. So we have Green Hill, next will be Marble Garden, then after that, I believe it's Spring Yard, then, uh, after Spring Yard, it's Labyrinth, then Starlight Speed, not Starlight Speed, what am I thinking? Starlight Zone, not Starlight Speed, and then finally, uh, Eggman Land, whatever it's called. I forget. It's right on my tongue, I know it. But anyways, let's, more importantly, let's talk about this game, as I was just doing. So as you see, things are going by pretty, pretty fast, pretty fast. Now, basic mechanics, you collect rings. When you collect rings, you can use them. Two rings allows you to use a special ability. With Sonic, you get a speed boost. With Tails, you get a jump. With Eggman and Amy, it's kind of weird. I believe Amy drops like these heart mines and Eggman shoots like a missile, but I've never actually seen them do anything. So, whatever. Anyways, we're playing as Eggman right here. In Marble Garden Zone. Now I should mention, there are power-ups you can collect in the game. Not only do you have rings, but you have actual things. There's springs on the field. Uh, blue spring gives you invincibility, like you see here, and that's the only one you really want to get. It makes you go faster, and you're invincible to everything, so you can, like, go on the edge of the road and not run into anything. I should also mention for basic mechanics, all those signposts and stuff, if you hit them, you'll stop immediately, and it's especially bad with Eggman, because he speeds up quite slowly, so... It's quite bad with that him, but... Anyways... There's also red springs, which speed you up, and yellow springs, which shoot you into the air in a jumping, which helps with turns, but if you're invincible, turning doesn't really matter at all. And just like that, we win the race two. Now we're in Spring Yard, and we should be playing as Tails. Yeah. Now I am playing as all the characters, and if you complete all the cups as one character before turning off the game, you get a special ending, and I'll be showing those as well. I anyway, mean, that's basically this game in a nutshell, like, it's not too good of a game. You're not missing out on anything if you're never played it. And if you're wondering why Sonic's in the car, it's because he would win if he was on foot all the time. Like, really, that would just be unfair. His car's a handicap. Jeez Louise. Anyway, uh, that's, that's Sonic Drift. I will be showing every single track, so brace yourselves. It's only downhill from here, I pretty much explained the entire game. If I wanted to, I could just push a button and Tails would do a jump, which would help with turns, as I said, but... Yeah, that was Tails, now we're on Amy, who is the last character that you can play as. I don't believe this game has multiplayer, so... Maybe it does, I've never seen that, I'm playing with this on Sonic Adventure DX, so... It has that going for it. You can unlock Game Gear games on that. This is for the Game Gear, by the way. Yeah, this is supposed to be like a Mario Kart clone, but in all honesty, Mario Kart was pretty much better in every aspect. I mean, that's coming from someone who isn't really a big fan of the original Super Mario Kart to begin with. Not that it's bad, it's just it's not my thing. I prefer later games in that series, but... Even comparing these two, I'd definitely play Super Mario Kart over this game. But yeah, Sonic Drift. Starlight Zone. Unfortunately, this game doesn't have a very large soundtrack, or at least very attractive soundtrack. Can't really say. Like, I loved Starlight Zone's... Uh, music in Sonic 1, but in this game, it's just meh. Like, there, there, there's no music that's just like, yeah, that's a good song, to me at least. So yeah. I'm just trying to pull for anything to talk about at this point. In all, 
Oh, uh, in all honesty, I might as well just shut up and let you guys watch this, but... There's no real point. You've seen the entire game already, pretty much. As I said, there's six courses per cup, or emerald, or whatever you want to call it. There's three emeralds. And they all share the same theme. So after this, it'll be... Not Metropolis, that's the next game series. Scrap Brain, that's it, Scrap Brain. I was calling Eggman Land earlier, what a dummy am I. But yeah. Then after that, when we go to the next cup, it'll start off Green Hill Zone, and it'll just loop forever until we finish this game. So yeah, Scrap Brain. And we're playing as Eggman, how fitting. And those guys just dashed past me. I'm not sure how that works. This game has weird mechanics. It's it's pretty easy to be all, in all honest. I have lost, but that's because Eggman's not a good character. Despite that, so I find Sonic, Tails, and Amy all play pretty much the exact same, except for like their special abilities, where Sonic is pretty much the best because he gets a speed boost. And probably Tails is the next best, and Amy just has it, her useless. There, I think I just used a rocket or something. Eggman has rockets, which I've never seen hit, and then Amy has her mines. Or maybe it's the reverse, I'm not sure. It's something like that. Either way, Eggman and Amy's specials are pretty useless. Maybe even still. Like, I find if I get hit and stopped as Eggman, like if you hit one of those side... blocker thingy jigs, obstacles, that's the word. To, like, stop dead in his tracks, and the other characters will stop dead in their tracks as well, but... I find they speed up faster. That's like the only difference. Uh, what else? This course is pretty much just, just a square. I believe there's a blue spray you can get which increases your speed and makes you invincible so you can stand on the edge of the track anyway and not worry about turning. If you get that, you're pretty much golden. I mean, it's just red springs, I'm not sure. This is a boring game, it's not good. I wouldn't recommend it. Unless, like, you're getting it for collection purposes. And that's the only way I'd recommend it, but if you're just like, I like Sonic, don't. Just don't. It's not worth it. <sighs> I'm like... a third of the way through this video and I ran out of stuff, like... three minutes ago to talk about. Ah. <sighs> what can I talk about? I've been playing Zelda recently. At least I was, then I stopped because I beat it. Breath of the Wild, good game. Good game, would recommend. I mean, I'm not a fan of the whole weapon system, but other than that, it's, it's pretty solid. Okay, I'm out of stuff to talk about. I brought up the only other thing I was doing. <sighs> Once again, Marble Garden, Amy... Nothing interesting is going to happen, except we win, I think. I think I actually lose one race. I think it was as Eggman, though. It's one of the later ones. Like, there's no real point to showing these off other than to just show them. Like, as I said, you've seen the game. I might as well cut to the end uh, ending credits right now, because this game does have credits, it does have special endings for each of the characters. But... I want to show everything else off for LP purposes, even if it's not too entertaining. Amy just ate it there. Good job, Amy. Never fear, Amy Rose is here. And back to Spring Yard. It's Sanic. So how about that Sanic Mania? Looking pretty good, am I right? I can't wait to play that in 50 years. At least on this channel. I'll probably get a day one. Actually, I did get a day one. Because I'm an idiot and pre-ordered it. Despite not normally liking pre-orders, I decided to pre-order this one. Mostly before the statue. Not sure if for you in the know, but Sonic Mania has like a collector's edition. And it's like, hey, that's a pretty nifty statue. I want that. That's the main reason why I got it. I could probably just get it on Steam at some other point, so... Yeah. That's what really sold me. If it was just like pre-order Sonic Mania and you get just Sonic Mania and launch, then I wouldn't have gotten it, but the statue, pretty nice statue. 
It also cleans tough stains off couches, apparently, to the, according to the advertisement, so that'll be nice. Useful for around the house and all that jazz. Uh, what else to talk about? I was out of stuff, like, as I said, five minutes ago. What else can I pull? Uh... Uh... No, I can't. I'm trying. I'll try. I'll try to talk over this game, and no one will probably watch this far because... It's quite boring. Why can't this be like Sonic 3 and Knuckles where I could actually talk about cool things like enemies and stuff? Or maybe I could like find trivia. This game doesn't have much trivia. I looked it up. It was like, hey, this game came out in X year. I don't even remember it. I had one job. I had one piece of trivia to remember. I can't even remember it. Wow. What a failure am I. Okay, that's enough talking down on myself. That's not a good thing to do. Anywho, Labyrinth Zone. Thankfully, this level doesn't take place underwater. I'd hate to see this game implement water physics. That'd be awful. Sort of like going through this stage relatively fast, we'd be like slowly moving it through fast. I don't know. In order to get the specials at the end of the game, the special endings, I just showed Tails jumping ability right there, also to point out. As I said, there's three cups. I believe it's green, yellow, red, I think that's the colors of the cups. I'm not really sure, I don't really care to be honest. I recorded this footage like a while ago and I wasn't even paying attention to it when I first started this video. But I believe there's three cups, you have to beat each cup as the character you're playing, so in this case, if I wanted Tails ending, I'd play the green cup as Tails, then the yellow cup, and then the red cup, and then I get hit his ending. And be pretty cool. So, yeah. Starlight again. I've already seen this once before. And we'll have to see it one more time again. Before this is over. Probably should have, like, brought a book or something. Don't even have a manual of any kind. So, uh, how about that Sonic Forces, A? Eh? Pretty interesting. Having your own original characters and stuff playable, that's pretty neat. Is there any other Sonic news to talk about? Uh, pff, not really. We're almost done anyway. By almost done, I mean two-thirds of the way through. Of this game. I mean, at least with Sonic Spinball, I was able to talk about stuff. Or should I say Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, because that was a let's look as well. I'm not good at these. I'm not good at let's plays, but that's besides the point. I'm especially not good at these. I don't really like the turning in this game. It's really annoying. But you think, oh, you just push the turn button and you turn, but... You have to, like, do a drift thing. And if you drift too much, you'll, like, spin out. Anyway, Green Hill for the third time, except with a slightly different track configuration. I mean, I know this is probably revolutionary for the Game Gear, considering that's what this is on, but... I think it's one of those things that probably shouldn't have even bothered to begin with. Although it was Sega, so... Can't really tell them that. Hey, can we get money from this? Well, yeah, but it won't be very good. Who cares? Although, as I was saying, with Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces, hopefully they're learning from their mistakes. At least with Mania. Hey, we can't make good Sonic games? Let's get these people who do know how to make good Sonic games to make it. Good stuff. Good stuff. 
And then Sonic Forces, I'm on the fence for. I'm hoping for the best, still expecting the worst. Sonic Generations was nice. I liked it. Even though it had, like, some flaws in it, mostly because it was rushed, but... At least Sonic Generations on PC and console. I haven't played the 3DS version, so I can't really have a proper opinion. I've seen plenty of gameplay, it's just never personally had it in my hands. I should probably get on that at some point. It's been years. What was it, like... Came out 2010, 2011, I think? It's 2017 now. Six or seven years, wowzers. Time flies. Wanna know it doesn't fly this game? Hurry up. Honestly should have sped it up as well. A as a part two, just showing these to begin with. There's a lot of things I should have done with this, but I didn't. In fact, I could change it right now and you guys would never know, but... I'm lazy, so I'm not. Anywho, I believe is this the last time we'll be seeing Tails, I think? It goes Tails, and it'll be next to Amy, and then Sonic, and then we'll finish with Eggman. Yeah, okay. Last time we're seeing Tails. At least until the next Let's Play I do, which will be Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Something I can talk about, and actually have fun with, because it's a good game. Recommend it. But I'll get to that when I get to that. Don't want to sell something before I can show it off, I guess. Even though I'm not really selling it, and if you probably wanted to play it, you would have done so by now. So, I don't really need my salesman expertise. So, yeah. For some reason, I used my bouncing ability there instead of taking that invincibility spring, but either way, I win. Now we're playing as Amy! For the last time! Wow! Actually, I think this will be the last time in forever. No wait, no, there's still Sonic Drift 2. I was gonna say until Sonic Adventure, but... No! Plus there's also Sonic R, which I'll have to get to eventually, but... Whatever. Something I should actually mention! I can't believe I didn't say this earlier. I know I mentioned each of the spring's abilities, how like red was dash, yellow was jump, blue was invincible. Uh, if you have a spring and you hit another spring, you'll lose the one you're holding the ability. So for example, right now I'm invincible. If I hit a red spring, I'd stop being invincible, just like that, and go into a dash. So, typically you just want to be invincible. Kind of just wasted that invincibility. But hey, that was something to talk about that relates to this game. So I'm not going to complain. Yet. For now. Also, that invincibility theme was Toot Toot Sonic Warrior, once again. First heard in Sonic 2 for the game year, then brought back in Sonic CD, and now... This game. And I think this is the last time we hear it for quite a while. If forever. I forget. I don't think it appears again. It might appear in Sonic Generations, I'm not sure, I don't think so though. I know Sonic Boom appears in that song. In that game, not song. I don't think it does, because I'm pretty sure that song's copyrighted or something. Hence why if you play the Sonic CD port, there's no lyrics to it. So I had to mod it and stuff for that Let's Play, but whatever. We're not playing Sonic CD, we're playing Sonic Drift. And this is the last one we're playing a Sonic. Hooray. Or boo, I guess, depending on how you look at it. We're almost done, Starlight Zone, and then we'll finish off with Eggman, as we should, because Eggman's the best. And hooray, final level lap zone. This'll be over. Come on, Eggman, you can do it. I know you can. I think Eggman's the only one with, like, an angry, you passed me emote. Because we saw at the beginning there, like, Tails and Sonic passed him, and then he did, like, his angry fist. Gosh darn it, you darn kids, how dare you drive past me. I think he's the only one that does that. 
if the others do, I haven't really paid attention to it, and I don't really care to, so... Whatever. When does that slap? One or two? I wasn't paying attention as well. I should be doing that. You'd think I would be, since I'm commentating, but... I'm just trying to pull words out of nowhere. To varying success. Dungeon Ass Springs Way, you can see there. So I want to keep this invincibility as long as possible. Usually you can go through an entire lap until you get back to your spring again that you got it from, so... I lost it there, unfortunately. Then I'm going to come to a dead stop, and then it's going to take forever for me to speed up again. I'm just running into a bunch of stuff like dumb. Like a big dummy. In a way, this should be the last lap. And in turn, I will see you after these endings. And there you have it, Sonic Drift. A game that I don't know why they bothered creating, but they did. So here we go, credits time. Who made this game? Who had to earn their money? East. NG. K. I wonder if these are actual people's names or if they're just like, hey, let's claim these people's names and... Say they are. Wahaha, that's an amazing name. Good job, person. And presented by Sega. Okay. Well, that was Sonic Treff. See you guys next time in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Goodbye.